Six to eight months. Um, I've recently moved from Rossendale, so I'm actually still looking for a dentist. So I've not been for about nine months now. I'm feeling a bit uncomfortable about that, so I need to go and get registered somewhere. Well, um, I live in Stratford, and there's a dental surgery literally around the corner. So um, I called them up, and then they said, "Oh, they're not taking any patients on. They're full up." And as I offered, I mean, I was uh, registered privately in my with my previous dentist. So I said oh, I'd register privately, but they still um, wouldn't accept anyone. So I'm just looking in the area now and see which one has got good reviews and so forth, to see which one I can choose. I think it's feeling at ease. Um, it, you're feeling quite vulnerable when you're in that chair. You just sat there with your mouth wide open and obviously you've got people right there. So it's, it's not the most comfortable position. Um, and I think a dentist that perhaps doesn't, even if there is something wrong with you, I'm not saying play it down, but that doesn't make you feel bad for it. Because I've had in the past dentists when they've like been like, oh, you've not flossed properly. And it's just, just like, do you know what you can cause? And it's like, yeah, okay, you don't need to catastrophize things. But uh, I can see why they do it to raise awareness, but I think sometimes it's a bit harsh. It's just really scary. The best experience was in my last surgery. I think, unfortunately, it did make a difference, I thought, being private. Um, I felt the staff was a lot friendlier and um, just more accommodating. Um, and the dentist himself, I, I, whilst he was working on me, uh, I heard him say to the, to the nurse, um, to let him know when people are nervous because she was talking about another lady. So to let him know so she could he could like reassure them. And I did feel he was reassuring with me. Uh, he was very good, a young dentist as well. So sometimes when you see someone young, well I always think, oh how much experience have you got? But it was it was brilliant. Probably just dentists ignoring your pain threshold. So so kind of keep going but when you're like screaming that. So and I think maybe, yeah, that, that was quite, I mean, I've not had horrifying experiences, just just kind of ignoring the fact that I was perhaps in pain, but I guess they had to do what they had to do, so, yeah.